guys i'm gonna be doing an exciting video i did um this video in sim i did this video last year and you guys seem to really like it so i decided i was gonna go ahead and do um another rendition of it this year so last year i did the iphone 12 pro max versus um as far as like what bags that it fit in since it was gonna be the biggest uh flagship phone that apple sold and i did you know purchase the phone i still have the phone so i wanted to do since i just did the unboxing of my cutie right here my ipad mini 6 which is the newest ipad to be released from apple uh so i've been playing with it for a little bit i haven't quite had it for a week yet so i am going to come back and do an actual first impressions of this particular device but i wanted to do um for all you luxury lovers out there who have luxury bags who may have um of the louis vuitton and chanel variety uh just kind of showing you how this little ipad mini measures up against um some of my luxury bags bags some that are popular some maybe not so much and just so you can see how portable this device really is so we're not going to go through all of my bags because of course um you know it's going to fit in a neverfull it's going to fit in my Fendi uh peekaboo extra light you know those bigger bags of course this item is going to fit but i was really curious about some of my mini uh mini to medium bags so we're going to go ahead and test those out so you guys let's go ahead and get started so i'm just going to be pulling from I'm gonna maybe do the smallest to largest or maybe largest to smallest. Let's do, let's start largest to smallest. So um, I think my largest that I have in this category is probably gonna be my Chanel backpack here. So if I'm reaching, I'm reaching for the bag. So I'm referencing this backpack right here, which is my Chanel Pear Salzburg Mountain backpack. Uh, calfskin leather, ruthenium hardware, uh, color burgundy, Again, I think I mentioned size large. So this is it right here. I just uh, uploaded a review on this bag. So definitely check that out if you're curious because not many people talk about this bag on YouTube. So give this bag some love. Uh, but yeah, beautiful Chanel backpack. I've had it for two years. Let's take the paper out and see how it fits inside. So of course, I feel like this is definitely gonna fit in here with no problem. Let's go ahead and see how it looks though. So let me get a little bit closer here. Yeah, it definitely fits in. You have plenty of room to fit your mini pochettes, your toiletry pouches, um, whatever little pouches you might have, your small other goods. So yeah, it definitely fits in without an issue. And you've got, again, plenty of room. Does not add much weight to it because the item in and of itself is pretty light. So yeah, definitely fits inside of my Chanel backpack. So let's put the stuffing back in here and let's put her off to the side and let's pull our next bag. So let's start off here with my Chanel Jumbo in the denim. So this is the um, Chanel denim Prussian, I believe is what it's called. Um, yeah, denim bag. So it is a fabric bag. Uh, the color is like blue green and it is the Jumbo. So let me get her in frame here. Got this bag back in February from Fashion File and I've been loving it ever since you guys probably top top two or three bags in my collection, I would say. It gets used quite a bit as an everyday bag. So I definitely would be putting this iPad mini in this bag, most definitely because I use this bag so much. So let's open this one up. I don't, I think I still actually have items in here because I never stray too far from this bag. I just have some kind of receipts and stuff in here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in here and see how it looks. So. You can kind of see here, I mean, it definitely fits in with no problem. Hopefully you guys can see, it's kind of hard to hold it upright since it's a very malleable bag, but it fits in with no issue. You just kind of have this pocket kind of hanging, but if I close that pocket or push it in a little bit, you can see there's still like really plenty of room on this side as well as here. Um, you know, even if I kind of push it up against, you can kind of see all the room and the space that's left. And let's see if it fits in the back pocket, even though y'all, I highly doubt I would be putting my iPad mini in the back pocket, but you know, well, this is the only bag I would do that in. I wouldn't do that, you know, try it in my leather bag because this has a very, um, again, malleable pocket. So this is how it fits in the back pocket. If you do have this bag, I don't think it fits the, does it fit this? No, it's too tall as you can see to fit in i'm sorry maybe you can't see let me push the chain and we're just gonna take off the apple pencil just for effect 
so no yeah it's it's a little bit too short so it's not gonna fit in the back pocket uh this way but it will fit in upright like that and the apple pencil you know will fit of course as well so that's how it looks like i wouldn't necessarily recommend you doing that unless you you know had to for a very brief period of time just because you are liable to drop you know your ipad mini on the ground and that would not be good so definitely fits in again our denim bag here which i definitely will be putting it in there and then as you can see you still have plenty of room let's get our leather jumbo and our leather jumbo this is the chanel jumbo you guys are probably familiar if you are into luxury bags but this is the chanel jumbo double flap uh, silver hardware caviar leather purchased in 2018 so it's almost three years old now we'll be doing a review on this one once we get to the three-year mark but the bag is pretty much immaculate to be honest not really much wear and tear on it if i say so myself i just kind of have the chain inside of the bag and i believe there's also some stuffing in here i did wear this bag out recently somewhere oh i think to the movies so we're gonna take the stuffing out here and let us, okay, here we go. So we have our iPad mini here. Let's we'll put it in that way. So pretty much the same thing with, but you could probably see it better here as far as how much room you have left. So pretty much the same thing with the denim bag. You're gonna have about the same room, except with this leather bag, it's actually um, wider than the denim bag, but the denim bag is a little bit longer, you guys. So keep that in mind if you do have both or one or the other. So this one is gonna be wider, um, but uh, the denim bag is gonna be longer, so. And it's not really a vast difference because you can actually fit more in the denim bag than you can in this one just because of the double flap. But um, yeah, it fits in here just fine, perfectly, doesn't add much weight. I mean, the bag already in and of itself weighs, you know, a good bit. So uh, the, the iPad mini doesn't add much weight on top of it, to be honest. So fits in just fine. I'm not going to try the back pocket because yeah, I don't want to stretch out that pocket like that. So we're just gonna put the chain back in here. Um, let's try the front pocket though, because I just noticed this. Again, I'm gonna take the Apple Pencil off, but let's see. I think I have something in here actually. Just seem like I felt something. Oh, has some tweezers in there. Okay. So yeah, actually it fits in the front pocket here. Um, yeah, the Apple Pencil, I'm going to probably get another case that's going to include the Apple Pencil because, you know, again, this is kind of costly, so you don't want to be having it on here very happenstance because it, it's liable to fall off and, you know, that's like $100, so, so you don't want to do that, you know, trying to be cute, so, but yeah, it definitely fits in the front pocket as well, you guys, so that's really cool to know if you do have a Chanel Jumbo, you can just fit your iPad mini in the front pocket. So that way it doesn't even take up any of the space of the interior of the bag. So as you can see there, so you can, you know, this is a good use for this front pocket here. So yeah, we're gonna move on to the next bag after we stuff this one and put it back the way it was. Let's try, um, I think I've, well, you guys, have seen this bag and I think I put the iPad mini in this bag already but in case you didn't see that video as far as me revealing this bag here which is my newest bag this is the Louis Vuitton um, Alma PM in the Emprunt leather color noir so um, I have my items in here so you can kind of get a good gauge too of what the iPad mini will look like inside this beautiful blue slash violet um, interior lining so let's go ahead and put it inside of here And we have it inside. So uh, you guys can see. And this is what it looks like. So yeah. So it definitely fits in here, no problems at all. And again, this is the Alma PM, my newest bag that I just unboxed. Um, so by the time this video goes up, I will have uploaded the unboxing. So yeah, you guys have, will have seen it, but yeah. This is my newest bag to my collection and I've been loving it thus far. 
So we're just gonna set this one over here. So yeah, definitely fits in the Alma PM. Let's try this one right here, which is my newest Chanel bag. This is the Chanel top handle flap. That's all they call it, but it's in this very beautiful like mustard yellow. I think they call the color John, something like that. So it does have a back pocket here and it does have uh, this opening here. It has a flap here and then the opening right there. Let's go ahead and take the dust bag out and the chain and let's see how it fits in. All right, so again, we have my iPad mini here. Does it fit in? Oh yeah, it does, definitely does. So this is how it fits into this top handle flap, um, top handle with flap bag here. Uh, so if you have a bag that's of a similar size um, and then, you know, we can go ahead and close it, no problem. It's not, you know, too tall or anything, you know, so it's not lifting up the flap at all. So if you have a bag around this size, then yeah, your iPad mini will definitely fit in here, no problem. You can still fit a decent amount of items in here. Let's check the front pocket here. Will it slip in? No, it will not slip in. It's a little bit too big for this front pocket, you guys. And I assume it's probably the same thing for the back pocket, but let's see. Yeah, it's, it's too big for the back pocket. So it can, you know, comfortably fit inside of the bag because the bag does have a bit more give, but it's not gonna fit inside of the interior pocket nor the exterior pocket of this top handle with flat bag. So again, if you have a, a bag that's around this size, like maybe a cocoa handle, um, yeah, probably won't fit on it, you may have, depending on the size of the cocoa handle, you may have an issue with fitting it in the interior. But again, if it's around this size, um, you know, you should hopefully be able to fit it in. Granted, it doesn't have like all those dividers and stuff. So yeah, this is just like an open compartment bag, but I know some of those uh, bags such as the cocoa handle do have like dividers and stuff on the inside and like the trendy CC. So yeah. But yeah, definitely fits inside of this bag, no problem at all. And again, this is the Chanel top handle with flap is what they call it in the beautiful mustard yellow color. So this is my newest Chanel bag. We haven't had her for that long, but we'll do a review on her whenever, you know, a longer period of time has passed and I've used it more. So um, next bag we're gonna do, let's try my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. I was really curious about this one. Um, my Kindle fits in here, which I feel like is about the same size as this iPad mini, but I think the iPad mini might be a little bit bigger than my Kindle e-reader from you know Amazon. So let's see, wait, hold on. Before we do that, I have like a bandeau in here. So let me take that out. And so this is the bag here. You guys are familiar with this one. I've talked about this one in multiple videos before I put it in there. Um, I've had this bag since, November of 2019, so it's coming on two years old. I'll do a review at that time if I don't sell it, so. <laughs> so yeah, it's not gonna fit. Yeah, so now we have all of our answers, questions are answered, it's not gonna fit. Even if I take the Apple Pencil off, yeah, it's, it's not gonna fit. It's just too um, square. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's too square. So it's definitely not gonna fit inside because of the rounded edges of the Palm Springs Mini. So yeah, definitely my Kindle does fit in here, but I think, yeah, my Kindle's a little bit smaller. So yeah, the iPad Mini is not gonna fit inside of your Palm Springs Mini backpack if you have it. Maybe the um, larger version, I think that's the PM, that's, you know, kind of looks like an actual backpack, probably will fit in that, but, cause it just seems like it just barely does not fit in here. So definitely it would fit inside of the PM if you have the bigger backpack, but yeah, it doesn't unfortunately fit inside of the mini, Palm Springs mini backpack. So, yep, bummer, but um, can't win them all. And let's try my beloved um, favorite everyday bag, which I'm, gonna be filming a review of this one soon as well because I have owned this now for a year. I think maybe last week made a year, but this is the Louis Vuitton bum bag um, in the, you know, regular size that it comes in, the only size it comes in. I know the Empreint leather version is a little bit smaller, but yeah, the monogram version just comes in one size and it does have the um, regular Vachette leather because I know you can get the World Tour one that has the calfskin black leather, but yeah, this is just the old school bum bag. Let's see how this one fits. 
I'm curious about this one too, because I'm wondering if the um, iPad mini is gonna be like too tall to fit in here comfortably. And I'm gonna try it first with the organizer and then without the organizer. I'm pretty certain with the organizer or without the organizer, it'll fit just fine. But um, I'm, I'm curious as to how it'll fit with the organizer because I mostly carry this bag with the organizer. So let's see. It doesn't look like it. Whoa, wait, hold on. Okay, it fits you guys, wow. I took the Apple Pencil off, but um, I mean, I could put it back on. It's just like a little bit of a, of a little, it's a little bit of a squeeze. But um, I could put the Apple Pencil back on. Let me go ahead and do that. So, there we go. So, it does fit, oh, uh, see? See what happened? Yeah, I, when I put it down, the Apple Pencil fell off. So I would say, um, it, yeah, it fits, but, oh goodness, now the Apple Pencil's inside. Give me a second, guys. The Apple Pencil kind of fell inside of the case. So we're just gonna exclude the Apple Pencil for now because you can always put it into another portion of the bag. But if you kind of push it in, it definitely fits inside. But again, if you have the Apple Pencil on top, the Apple Pencil is gonna roll down. So it's gonna roll like into the bag or maybe between the case. That's what my Apple Pencil just did. But you can kind of see you guys, um, I have this bandeau on here. But um, yeah, I pushed it all the way to the back. So I can, you know, kind of, let's see. Yeah, I pushed it all the way to the back so you can still fit a good amount of items inside even with the um, iPad mini being in here. So it definitely fits. It doesn't actually make the top of the bag like any more boxy or protrude, because it's like right here, but you can't really tell. And then I can just, with my organizer, I can just slip the Apple Pencil like kind of in this little, one of these little slots here. And then again, like I said, you can put all kind of um, other little items in here as well. And this is it zipped up. So this is good to know if you have the bum bag. Um, yeah, the iPad mini will fit inside of here. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit inside the bum bag, which is kind of a comparable comparison to the bum bag. Um, yeah, it doesn't fit inside the Palm Springs mini just because again of the rounded corners, but with this one, you can put it in even with the organizer. So I know it definitely will fit in without the organizer. Um, I'm not certain about the back pocket. We'll try that and see how that looks. But um, let me take these out. Yeah, it's just, you have to be mindful of the Apple Pencil. If you have it elect, um, like uh, magnetically connected, then yeah. And we're just taking the organizer out just to see how it looks. But again, I'm just certain that, you know, again, it's gonna fit with no problem. We're just gonna put the Apple Pencil back on. And, oh Lord. Yeah. So I mean, it still fits in, no problem. But um, I personally would still probably separate the Apple Pencil from the iPad mini because I feel like you're at risk of losing it, especially when you pulled this out. I feel like the Apple Pencil is gonna detach from the um, iPad mini and you would be at risk of losing it. I personally like to keep the organizer inside of the bag and I'll address that when I do the review on this bag. So I don't wanna really get into that now, but I prefer the um, bum bag actually with the organizer. So that's how I would typically carry it. So I feel like that would be good and sufficient to me. Now let's look at the back pocket here. I'm kind of curious about this because this back pocket is pretty, pretty wide. So let's see if the iPad mini will fit inside of the bum bag's back pocket. Uh, maybe without the case, you guys. It, it seems like it just barely does not fit. Well, I'm actually kind of pushing here. Hold on, let's see. You probably shouldn't do this, to be honest. Yeah, that's as far down as the pocket will go. So you couldn't zip it, but 
you could shove it in there if you needed to of course not with the apple pencil but you could shove this in here if again you absolutely needed to um, and you needed a spot for your ipad mini it probably would fit a lot better without the folio because the folio adds just a little bit um as far as thickness on here um not really so much as far as the height but um it probably would fit. You could snug it in a little bit better without the folio case. Like, let me take this folio case off real quick. And, you know, again, everything for me is going to be with the folio case just because, like, I always have a case on these devices. I do have the purple iPad mini. I didn't mention that before, but I have a video unboxing this, you guys. So let's try it. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that slid in a, a lot better with um, out the folio case, but it still does not go all the way down to where you can zip it. So please keep that in mind as well, you guys, if you do have this bag and you're wanting to put your iPad mini in here, that um, yeah, it's gonna be somewhat of a, a tight squeeze. So um, it'll definitely fit inside the bag, no problem. Um, you just will have to separate the Apple Pencil from the iPad mini, but the, um, and then it will also fit mostly in the back pocket with or without the folio case, um, but you won't be able to zip it. So keep that in mind. And again, this is the Louis Vuitton bum bag and the monogram canvas. So we're just going to zip this one back up and put this one to the side. So I have two bags left, which I don't think that. Well, I know one, the iPad mini is not gonna fit inside of, but the other one, um, I'm pretty certain it's not, but you never know until you try. So let's, um, mostly I brought this bag out for comparison. I already know like iPad mini is not gonna fit inside. So, and this is the Chanel wallet on chain, um, which is caviar leather gold hardware. And this is the classic wallet on chain purchased from London, England in 2017, making this bag four years old this year. So I just did a review on this one uh, some months ago, I think. Yeah. So let's take the chain out. Um, I, I already know it's not going to fit in here because I'm pretty certain, yeah, the iPad mini is bigger than the wallet on chain. So yeah, you see how the iPad mini covers it. And then if I do like even this way to compare, yeah, it's, it's definitely too tall. Um, as far as the width, I think the width is about the same, but yeah. Oh, see width wise, it will fit. It's just, yeah, you can't, you're not going to be able to close it. Like that's entirely too tall. But um, it does fit in width-wise, no problem. And for me, um, it does poke out a little bit on both sides because you know it's it's using the full length of this bag. And I think for me, because I've had this bag for four years and I have stuffed it to the brim, yeah, it definitely um, does you know stretch out a little bit more than probably what you would think. Um, I don't know. As far as this pocket here. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying out stuff, you guys. Like, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Again, I just kind of brought this out for comparison because I know, like, literally and logically, you're not going to put this inside of this bag. Like, you're just not going to do it. But, um, yeah. So, if you um, wanted to... Hold on. Let me do it this way. So, if you wanted to slip your iPad mini and your wallet on chain. I mean, it does go into the secret pocket. Like it fits all the way almost to the camera really. So that's pretty cool. And again, this is this back pocket of the Chanel wallet on chain. So yeah, it does fit like that. But of course, who's carrying their bag like this? I don't, I don't really think anyone. So yeah, that's the Chanel wallet on chain. Then we just have one bag left, you guys. Last but not least is my um, Fendi Mini Montresor, which is a little bucket bag. This is in the calfskin leather. Color is called Camilla. And I just have this Louis Vuitton bandeau on the side here. And we're going to try to fit this without the Apple Pencil. I don't know if it's going to fit because I don't think this is wide enough. But um, this is what it kind of looks like against the Mini Montresor. If I kind of put it like this way, yeah, I think it's too wide to actually fit this bag. But again, this is with the bag completely opened. So it may surprise me, but I don't, yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit. So if I put it like this way, you can, oh no, no, you can't fit it that way. Cause look what it's done to my bag. So that definitely is a no-go. Um, I just, I don't think it's gonna, 
So I think it's gonna do the same thing if you try to fit it like this way. Yeah, it seriously distorts the bag if you try to put it in this way. So definitely not advisable, you guys, unless you don't care about your bag. So iPad mini will not fit inside the Fendi mini, the Fendi mini Montresor bucket bag. Um, probably again, it will fit inside of the bigger ones, but um, definitely not this mini one. So just wanted to show that one to you guys as well. This bag is um, now a year old as well. So we'll be doing a review on this one um, as well in the near future. So, but you guys, that was all of my bags. So under 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh gosh, I wish I could do quicker, but you know, I have to give my little two cents with every bag and it's, you know, quite a lot to go through. But um, yeah, as you can see, I think um, just again, it did not out of the bags that I showed today. And again, not even including my Neverfull, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull or my Fendi Mini Montresor, which are larger bags that are also in my collection, kind of like not including those bags. Um, it only did not fit in the, again, the Fendi Mini Montresor that I just showed you. It does not fit inside of my Chanel Wallet on Chain. And then it also does not fit inside of my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. So just three out of the bags that I showed you today that this, um, you know, little, let me put it this way. Yeah, let me put her this way. That, so only three out of the bags that I showed you guys today that my, um, Apple iPad mini six does not fit into. So I would say out of, um, you know, I would say that this is very portable as a comparison to, um, you know, the luxury bags I have in my collection. Cause again, it only does not fit inside of three of them. Uh, so I think that's pretty portable to me. Let me know what you guys think below, comment below. Um, if you are thinking about this iPad mini, I know I had someone comment saying that they're thinking about it, but they don't need it. Girl, I didn't need it either and I got it. And you know, thus far I've been really enjoying it. So, but still think about it, watch other videos. I watched a ton of videos before I went out and bought this, even though I did buy it on launch day. So I still watched a ton of videos from a lot of the tech reviewers. So I definitely would recommend that because I'm not a tech person, you guys. So I am gonna be doing like an actual first impression on this iPad mini and just kind of giving you the point of view as like a casual user. And you know, I also have been editing videos on this device as well. Um, but you know, as somebody who's not in the tech world, kind of giving you that type of first impression to review, cause I've, you know, seen some of the criticisms of this device as far as, you know, some of the, you know, more, um, literate, you know, tech literate individuals who put out videos and content. And that's just not been my experience. So we're going to talk about that, you guys, and see what you guys think about it. So again, comment below if you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up as well because, listen, who who all out here doing this content about, you know, again, if you love tech items but you love luxury as well, you know, let's, let's, let's marry the two. Let's talk about how they relate to one another and how we can use both and be happy. So um, definitely like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you do share it with someone else who may be interested in this type of review share this content with them also comment below you guys um, and subscribe to the channel and so you do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos again you guys thank you so very much for watching I really appreciate you appreciate the new subscribers and to you who's not subscribed I know you're gonna subscribe eventually so thank you so much for watching anyway and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys